Hey YouTube, well this is Brooks and you're watching Burro Car Wiz. First of all, I'd like to ap apologize for any highway noise here as I'm right by the road, um, but I really haven't done this style of video in a very long time. Uh, my friend Garrison over at Think Outside the Cube uh, reminded me that I was kind of one of the pioneers of the whole dealership uh, tour videos, and I really wanted to get back into it. Um, so this is a video here of one of my favorite cars, as you all may well know, uh, the Lexus GX460. Uh, my mother had a GX470, um, and this is just a very good truck. Um, I've got a several videos on 2015s and things of that nature. This is a 2011 in Claret and Mica um, exterior, and this one's a luxury package. And I apologize, it's a little tight here in these corners, uh, but this one's unlocked. So of course I have to show you guys, and I'll show you what the luxury package brings. Now you can tell this one's not a 2010 because it does not say Lexus right here um, like 2010s do. And as you can see, it's got a tow hitch installed, chrome exhaust tip, uh, and rear parking, rear, rear parking sensors. Of course, you've got the uh, backup camera there, and you have the smart key on the rear cargo door here. Um, as you can see in here, um, this one has the power folding third row like all the uh, pre-refreshes did. Uh, I think the battery's dead in this one because it's not coming up. Uh, at the moment it's a little scratched up in here as you can see but you've got your uh, household power outlet some cup holders back here um, but this cargo area definitely has been used as you can tell right here now i looked at the carfax on this one it actually came from west side lexus in houston texas so uh, this one's been around for a while uh, this one has Michelin Latitude uh, Tour HP tires, which are actually the OEM tires. So this person has kept uh, OEM tires on it. Uh, as you can see, they are 18 inches, kind of a more basic design, uh, but it d gets the job done. Now this one has a few battle scars on it, as you can see right here. Uh, so this probably would not be retailed at a Lexus dealership, um, but it's still quite a nice vehicle nonetheless. Getting inside here. If you look at the uh, seats, as you can see, this one has the semi analog leather, which comes on the luxury trim level. Uh, you've got the perforations all the way up to the top and the black stitching. Um, you've got the rear tweeters in the back seats. That's another indication this one has a luxury package with the Mark Levinson audio. Um, a little bit better look here at the doors. Padded materials, of course, all the way um, except for down here where the uh, uh, water bottle storage is. And you have tri-zone climate control with rear heated seats. Um, got map pocket storage on both sides and the typical Lexus kind of SUV um, rear center console the same ones in my mom's 4Runner but as you can see high adjustable uh, seat belts you have independent map lights yeah the battery is dead in this one sunroof up above of course you have that nice headliner and overall this one's in pretty good shape inside I'm not going to pop the hood because you guys all know that it's the Typical Lexus 4.6 liter um, V8, sourced from Toyota, um, modified version of what's in my dad's Tundra. No blind spot monitoring on this one, but they are electro dimming uh, side view mirrors here. Automatic wipers. Um, they actually had this one listed as a GX Premium, but it's a GX Luxury. You've got the uh, front headlight washers. These are HID um, headlights. You've got the uh, front Lexus grill. Um, Fog lights down below, front parking sensors. Yeah, this one has some battle scars up front, so you can see cracking paint uh, and some scuffs uh, where you can see they've hit a few things uh, up on the front. So this might not be the most loved GX out there, but, oh, excuse me, uh, Northside Lexus in Houston, Texas. But of course it has smart key access uh, and the likes of that nature, but you have, uh, of course you have your um, two person memory seats. You have your four automatic windows, power folding mirrors, um, there's those headlight washers, heated steering wheel, because that's, that's a luxury feature on the luxury trim level. And you've got your power tilt and telescopic steering wheel, auto headlights, auto wipers, of course, leather and wood wrapped steering wheel here um, with your audio controls, Bluetooth, and your uh, multi-information display controls there. Um, on the pre-refreshes, -refre pre you had this little door here um, with some hard key shortcut buttons for your audio controls, but you can can seal those up right there. Volume and tune knob, some climate control hard key buttons. You do not have a fan speed climate or climate button. You actually have to go into the touchscreen for that. That's one little nitpick I have with just this generation of GX is I kind of would have liked to have that uh, hard key button. But you have your six speed automatic transmi transmission, heated and, heated and cooled seats, which were standard on the uh, 2010 um, and up until uh, 2014. You got this nice little wood cover here with your aux USB and a 12 volt power outlet. 
Uh, and then being that this one is a luxury trim level, you actually have adjustable air suspension. Uh, you can see you can raise and lower the uh, air suspension there, and then you've got comfort and sport modes and normal. Um, if you had just a normal GX, these would be blank buttons, and here's your four-wheel drive controls. So that's how you can tell, easy way, that this one's a luxury model. And you've got dual cup holders there. I like this cup holder design a lot better than what they have on the new ones. Uh, these hold drinks in a lot um, better, and they don't cut on like the new ones do. You've got dual independent sliding armrests, which open up, uh, and you've got just some storage down in there. Felt lined, of course. And then off to the side, you got your glove box with all of your books in there, actually still wrapped up. Uh, and there's very little minimal, there's minimal um, scuffing and things of that nature in here. Of course, your illuminated vanity mirror doesn't even come on. So yeah, definitely a dead battery here. Uh, and then you've got some stunned glass storage and garage home link. This one has about 76,000 miles on it. So overall, just a short look here. Um, I apologize, I shot this one with my phone. We just kind of wanted to get back into the uh, whole swing of things uh, with this 2011 GX Luxury. Um, definitely one of my favorite uh, trucks out there. So um, give me guys your uh, give me your thoughts down below there in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.